So over on over here is a press release from the Fed uh, last Thursday. This is quite extraordinary. Uh, nothing like this has ever happened before. Uh, I just heard about it on yesterday, on Monday. Today's Tuesday, the 14th of April. Uh, and uh, so that that suggests to me that, that um, a lot of folks don't know what's going on here. Okay, this is, again, quite extraordinary. Nothing like this has ever been done before. Not during the Great Depression, not during the Great Recession, not any of those times has this occurred before. Okay, so the press announcement over here, Federal Reserve takes additional actions to provide $2.3 trillion in loans to support the economy. Okay, so this is the Federal Reserve. Who's the Federal Reserve? Federal Reserve is the central bank in the United States. They provide liquidity. They're responsible for a variety of things, including maintaining the money supply of the United States, but also providing the necessary liquidity or cash, effectively, uh, for the U.S. economy to operate. Uh, again, the Fed does a lot of other cool stuff. I don't want to shortchange them. You can check out, you know, they have functions, everything else on their website here. Okay, what the Fed is attempting to do here, again, is quite extraordinary. Now, during the financial crisis, the Federal Reserve uh, pushed a bunch of liquidity into the financial sector in order to stabilize it. Uh, why? So if you think about a lot of the things that might have been on the banking, you know, banks' assets back then, maybe a lot of like risky loans and sketchy stuff like that. So what the Fed did is replace those with cash, right? Um, now, it turned out that they weren't as risky as we thought, but that's a story for another day, okay? So in this way, the Fed was able to stabilize the financial system by, by basically replacing, you know, risky stuff with not risky stuff, cash, okay? Now, one of the criticisms that came of that after the Great Recession was, you know, that the Fed bailed out Wall Street, but not Main Street. Okay, so say that again, you know, the criticisms that came out of the Great Recession were that the Fed bailed out Wall Street, not Main Street. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not going to cast blame or, you know, get back on that or anything like that, but, um, it, you know, apparently the Fed listened. Okay, if we look down at this policy here, uh, Main Street new loan facility. Okay, so what is the Fed attempting to do here? The Fed is attempting to bail out Main Street this time. Again, I'll say that again. The Fed is attempting to bail out Main Street. It's never been done before. Never. Never. <laughs> okay? Uh, so it's quite extraordinary. Um, so I just want to walk through this because I think it's important that, that people really know, uh, at least have some idea what's going on here. Okay? Um, <clears throat> So the Fed is looking, again, you can read through this. Here's the, you know, the web bars right there. Just go to the Federal Reserve. It's right on their news headline stuff. Um, the Fed, again, is attempting to bail out Main Street by providing liquidity directly to state and local governments as well as small and medium-sized enterprises. Again, that, that's quite extraordinary. Historically, the Fed's role has been to stabilize the financial system and to, well, it's one of their roles, right? Um, certainly the role they took during the Great Recession. Uh, it's traditionally not their function to um, stabilize these aspects of the economy. Um, again, story, long story why that is, and story for another day, um, take an Econ 104 class, mine preferably if, if you're interested to find more. But quickly here, let's walk through what, what the Fed is attempting to do here. And again, it's super important, I think, that people you know hear about this because, um, like I said, it, it was three days before I heard about it. I, I watch the Fed all the time. So anyway, <clears throat> um, so <clears throat> scrolling down here is a bullet points. There's a bunch of fact sheets that are linked to this down at the bottom, fact sheets associated with all these aspects of the policy. Uh, you know, if you're an interested party, I, I strongly recommend strongly recommend you, um, you know, take a look at this. So the first thing here, bolster the effectiveness of the Small Business Administration's Paycheck Protection Program (PPP). Okay, so most folks are probably aware at this point that the SBA uh, is providing loans to small businesses to help them to maintain cash flow as well as to meet other various ongoing operational require or costs. Excuse me. Um, you know that there's a lot more need there wasn't a, what then was initially anticipated and so what the fed is doing here is basically providing direct liquidity to those so saying like hey you know all right you're having a hard time finding the liquidity to make these loans guess what we're hooking you up how much are we going to hook you up to the tune of well, I, I don't even know how much but it's going to be ridiculous it's going to be hundreds of billions of dollars okay so huge amounts of money all right <clears throat> uh so basically what that means is is it 
those loans should be a whole lot more accessible starting right now, okay? Um, ensure credit flows to small and medium-sized businesses with the purchase of up to $600 billion in loans through the Main Street Lending Program. All right, <clears throat> this is less clear to me exactly what the story is here, uh, but reading the fact sheets, it seems to be the case that if businesses have assets, right? So in addition to the various small business association or administration loans, excuse me, um, also if small and medium-sized businesses, and, and, it, and it seems also municipal and state governments, but that's not entirely clear to me, but if small businesses have various assets, like say like a delivery car or a building or whatever, that they can use those to as um, collateral uh, against additional, basically extremely low cost loans out of the Fed, right? So um, essentially any illiquid assets that, that, that businesses have can be um, sort of immediately monetized. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, that, that also provides a lot of additional sources of liquidity for, to small, medium-sized businesses to basically keep the doors open uh, at this point. Uh, and even if you can't literally keep the doors open, you know, to, to keep the lights on, I guess might be a better phrase. All right, third bullet point, increase the flow of credit to households and businesses through capital markets by expanding the size and scope of the primary and secondary market corporate, okay, blah, 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 okay, you get the idea. <clears throat> All right, it, you know, again here providing, you know, direct liquidity. Uh, so the Fed is providing direct liquidity to households and businesses. So um, effectively uh, opening the doors of the Fed's infinite liquidity to everybody. Um, and then finally, the last bullet point, which is in some ways the most significant um, because of critical services like things like police and fire and basic schools and stuff like this that are all run by state and local governments. Um, the Fed is helping state and local governments manage cash flow stresses caused by coronavirus pandemic by establishing municipal liquidity facility. Okay, so <clears throat> my understanding here is that, that very large cities, like over one million uh, is what it looks like from the fact sheet, uh, can basically borrow directly from the Fed. Again, quite extraordinary because you're you're borrowing at at virtually no cost. Um, so, but for smaller municipalities under you know one million people, which in, in my home state here, Wisconsin, is every city right. Even Milwaukee is under one million. Um, <clears throat> that those municipalities will have to work through their states. So it's imperative that state governments kind of get on the stick with this, uh, like now, um, uh, to ensure that their municipalities, both large and small, are going to be able to draw from these pools. Because uh, the state and municipal, you know, like my own city here, you know, most of the finances come through things like property taxes and various transactions taxes. Um, you know, with the economy taking a huge hit that it is, there's no question that those tax revenues are going to fall precipitously. So then how are the state and local governments going to maintain, of course, the state tax revenues are going to fall as well. So how are state and local governments going to maintain critical services like police, fire, schools, roads, all this stuff uh, in the face of that? Um, well, Fed is basically saying we'll hook you up, okay? Um, but again, the smaller municipalities are going to have to get, operate through the states. It, it looks like that's my reading. Again, um, you know, I'm just reading this stuff like you are. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it looks like they're, those smaller towns are going to have to operate through the states. So the states are going to have to make sure that they're, um, you know, getting on top of this. Anyway, quite extraordinary times. Uh, the doors of the Fed really have never been open to Main Street before, um, but they are today. Uh, and that, and I'll put in my two cents here since this is the end, you know, that's potentially an extremely good thing. Um, let's hope that, that people can understand this and, and move ahead with it. Again, it's never been done before, so, um, <clears throat> you know, my understanding is there's actually a fair amount of anticipation that the Fed that isn't maybe is anticipating that there'll be a lot of confusion about this because uh, again uh, never never been done before um, so anyway so if I can give any more aid uh, with this you know please look me up um, information is going to be below the video uh, I'm happy to provide additional information as, as I know it right 
Okay, so I'll be following this. I hope you're following it. Um, I hope everybody's safe and well out there. Yeah, haircuts, right? <laughs> All right, cheers, everybody. Stay safe.